Recently, Microsoft has carefully been making users sign into Power BI before they use them, even in the free version. Before now, this wasn't so. And if you don't have a work email, this might actually be a challenge. Here is a quick fix to do that. First thing you want to do is to go to your browser and just type in any of the Microsoft products. Let's say Dynamic 365. Just open the browser, the link here in your browser. So it comes to this page, just click on see price plan. So once you scroll down, click on see pricing here, then another 365 sales. And to prompt you to log in, just click try for free here. To prompt you to put in an email here. So let's say maybe I have an email. This let's just say ddd at gmail.com. It means I just click sign up and I click start free trial on. Now what happens is it says please enter your work email. Now, if you don't have a work email, this will be difficult. So all you need to do is just click on this set up a new account here. It takes you to this page and just put any random field there at gmail at gmail.com. Click next. Then my prompt you to work on a puzzle, just click next. So you just do the puzzle, submit. So it says verification complete. After that, it says looks like you need to create a new account. So you just click on set up new account. And then you just fill in your details here. So if you have a phone number, you can also fill it here. If you have a company name, you can fill it there also. And then just one person. So now this is the part that I need to take note of. If you don't, if your company does not have a website, just click on no. That way you'll be able to set up your own personal RBI website or domain name. In the country here, you can set it to your desired country. And make sure you do not check out any of these because you don't need any of these here. Just click next. So it took you to this page here. This is very important. So this is where you get to set your username. So here you could just put in the Sarah at Simple Chops. Just any domain, any name is um, okay, provided you can remember it. And then just click on save. And then you also set your password here as well. So once you're done, just click next. And it takes you to this page where it will ask you to fill in your car details and all of that. Now, we are not making any payments. At this point, our Power BI account has been created. All you need to do is go to your Power BI. And then come to the sign in here. Click on the sign in. And then you put your the account that you just created, which is Sarah at Sunfro shops.microsoft.com then click continue once this page comes up like this just click on use another account then you can post again Sarah and simple shops on soft Click next. You can also input your password and click sign in. Once you have put in the details, this window comes up. All you need to do is say check your browser to complete the Power BI sign up process. So if your browser doesn't open, just click on this place here that says click here. Then it takes you to your browser. You might require you to fill in some more puzzles. So this puzzle just set is in the same direction that the animal is setting. You can submit and it verifies completely. Then it opens your window like this. Then you just click on continue here. Then you set your country. You put your job title, then your phone number. So just uncheck this 
any of these, we don't need any of these, just click on get started. After that, it brings you to this page. So it says your username is this, so you can just make sure that you save this somewhere safe and then just click on get started. Clicking on get started, it takes you to the Microsoft Fabric um, web page. So once it takes you to this page, you will likely see, if, you've not, if you don't have an account before, it will, it will take you straight away. If maybe someone is already logged in, you see your account come up here like this, as you can see here. So you just click on it. And then it says preparing your environment and then, and then you are logged in already. So if you come back to your Power BI, if you come back to your Power BI, just click on sign in here. And then you can just put your email here, click on continue. Select choose another account. Put your email here again. Click on next. Put your password. Click on sign in. And it's a bit of, so you can see it here. Your account is already created. So now this gives you a free Microsoft account where you can use um you don't have to begin to rotate anymore whenever you start to do your so I hope this video helps.